let's move to this story now. The two families who lost their daughters after they were murdered, allegedly by a police officer, will not be getting closure, it seems. The alleged killer, Mlungisi Sikakani, has been confirmed dead by correctional services. It's believed he took his own life at Westfall Prison in KwaZulu-Natal. He was awaiting trial. ENCA reporter Ngobile Madlala has the story. It's not exactly the end of the road for the families who seek answers from Lungis Kakane, a former Hillcrest police officer who allegedly murdered two women he was romantically linked to, Enthema Josie and Stembi Lengobese. Enthema Josie's father says the family is not throwing in the towel just yet as they want to see what the cop wrote before taking his own life. We still wanted answers, but we really are hoping that uh, that uh, suicide note that he left does reveal some truth to us, because at the moment that's all we have. Enthema Josie would have turned 19 on the 18th of December. The family feels it's no coincidence that the cop ended his life before her birthday, even though they feel he opted for the easy way out. The family feels the officer's death was justice on its own. At the same time, we really are uh, um, pleased at the fact that he chose to just exit himself out because um, we were still worried at the fact that if he does uh, uh, go to court and they find him uh, uh, guilty, how long is he going to stay in custody and will that uh, give us our daughter back? No. So the fact that he's no longer around, I think this is the best justice that we could have asked for. Meanwhile, the Correctional Services Department says an inquest has been opened following Skakani's death. For every uh, suicide case, an inquest has to be opened so that you, they get to establish how everything happened, the cause of death and all of that, and then the death certificate I'm, I'm sure will be issued if it's not yet out. We reached out to the National Prosecuting Authority for the status of the case, but NPA has declined to comment, saying they were still waiting for the confirmation of the alleged killer's death from the correctional services. Durban.